back in the craft room and we have another coaster craft today. Um, after I had done one of my stone coaster, I believe, um, somebody had suggested, it was True Nagoyan had said um, maybe I should do seashells, which was actually something I was thinking about because I have tons of shells. And what I did, and I changed the whole thing just a little bit again, I'm still using the egg shaper in silicone, I'm still on parchment paper. Um, but what I realized was, actually my husband was worried about stuff scratching the table even though the bottom of the coasters are very smooth. If you do it on the parchment paper like we've done it before, but he thought adding some cork would be good. So this is kind of a personal preference on as to whether or not you would want to do that because um, you might want to be able to see both sides of it or not. That's entirely up to you. So I thought I'd give it a try and I had these cork um, pieces, round pieces that you can find at the craft store and as luck would have it, it fits perfectly into this um, egg shaper. Look at that. Perfect. So all I did was I, it's cork, regular cork on the bottom. I painted it blue on the top. I had originally thought maybe I'd put sand in, but then I thought maybe I wanted a color that offset it a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is I, I pulled out a bunch of shells that I thought would be good um, and played with some placement on it. And But before I do that, I'm going to have to, just in case, it's in there pretty tight. So I don't know how much would actually leak out, but just for insurance, I have my hot glue. And I'm going to just put a bead around, bead around on the parchment paper like I've done in the past. And this is again because the hot glue won't stick to the parchment paper and the hot glue will not stick to the um, silicone egg shaper, but it will stay, like it'll peel off. So it'll stay there long enough so that um, it'll keep the resin from from running out. Once the hot glue is all cooled around it, um, I had taken some shells and placed them in already just to kind of um, have an idea of, of the placement that I want. So all I'm going to do is take them out then and put them on the side. Oops. So I remember where they were. And then I have my resin already finished, so I'm just going to pour a layer down to cover the bottom. I'll kind of move it around. And then I'm going to take um, my shells and put them in. Now what I'm thinking is maybe I'll take a little bit of the resin and you know, kind of pour it on the inside a little bit to coat it. So I'm going to place that in and I'm going to take some of the resin and kind of drip it over. I'm going to do the same with the other pieces. I'm going to try to get the back side covered a little bit before I put it in. And when you get everything in the way you want it, then go ahead and pour the rest of it on. and I'll probably need to make a little bit more. So then as the bubbles come up, you can get rid of them either by blowing on the resin with a straw or by using a lighter. So either one will work. So keep doing that periodically after you get all of your resin in there. And then we'll check back um, in the morning and see how it all turned out. Hi everyone, it's the next morning and we are unmolding the seashell coaster. And it looks like it didn't leak at all if we look at the bottom. And I'm going to pull off the hot glue. And I'm going to pull off. Here, we had minor, minor leakage, so I can just trim that off with no problem. I think I'm going to just even do it with my craft knife. That actually worked beautifully. Um, the only problem that I'm still having is I'm still getting bubbles in my resin. And I think it's because it's so cold, but I had it soaking in warm water 
and I'm still getting the tiny bubbles. So I've done a little more research and I'm going to keep trying to figure out what is going on. And I'm hoping it's just because it's winter and I'm hoping I can figure out a way around it. But other than that, here is the shell coaster. And if anybody has any suggestions on how to get rid of the bubbles, I'd love to hear them. Um, I hope you like it and I hope you like the cork backing because that worked out very, very well. And I hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you for watching and we will see you next time. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.